Well, hello, give me a couple of minutes and I'm gonna tell you why you should never buy a GoPro in your life. Here we go with number one, value loss. The person that I happen to know bought the Hero 8, which was a super trend back then, for $400. And guess what it's worth used today? 200. That's 50% loss. Compare that fact to most DSLRs. Right now I'm recording on the Canon T7i and knew it costs around $800. Use 600. There's only $200 loss. And that's considering that this camera is not even that new anymore. Date of manufacture is 2017. So lesson number one is learned. Invest into a DSLR or a mirrorless system, not a GoPro. Number two is competitors. Everybody thinks that GoPro is the best action camera brand out there and that's false. There are very good cameras out there that do about the same or maybe even more for less money. For example, I picked up this YI 4K action cam for only 40 or 50 bucks and it has most GoPro features including voice control, different views such as wide or narrow. Basically, you get the point. Just why? Why would you buy a GoPro? Not, not a real camera that you can hook up a microphone, put it on a tripod, use it on a gimbal, use it to record videos. Next one up is how the GoPro footage looks. The picture quality. It just looks so bad, it's all warped up, like in a circle. And the audio quality is not exceptionally great either. And I actually personally own the GoPro, the Hero Session, the first one that came out. It didn't have any image stabilization. And when new, it would cost it around 200 bucks. And I got mine for 50 used. Which proves my first point. Alright, enough negative comments. Let's consider why somebody would buy a GoPro. Number one, it's easy to use. Uh, even a five-year-old kid can use it. Two, if you're this crazy action person who always, you know, is on the move and wants to record themselves, well, maybe you should get a GoPro. Three, if you have unlimited budget. Four, FPV drones. FPV drones, I think, is the only sport that I would buy a GoPro for. Because on FPV drones, GoPro footage actually looks quite good, I have to say. And the reason for that is because a Hero 7, Hero 8 and up have the hyper smooth, which makes the footage silky smooth. And the Hero 5 and up have Real Steady, which is a software that's a bit better than the warp stabilizer. Comment below whether you should buy a GoPro or whether you would not buy it. And if you do own a GoPro, stay safe. Don't do anything crazy.